Today I'm going to present you with some photographs. This is the first time I've ever presented photographs in a film, but as this vehicle is in the United States, I don't actually have access to it myself to film it. The photographs are professionally taken. Uh, the excellent photographs they were done by Bonhams Auction House. Now Bonhams is an international auction company. They have a division which is specialized in classic vehicles and that is how they came across this one. You're probably wondering about the price. Well it fetched $57,790 in January 2017 in Scottsdale, Arizona. As I'm sure you know you can recognize it as a Volkswagen Type 2 Westphalia camper. As can be seen, although this vehicle is more than 50 years old, it's been equipped with period furniture and it's undergone a magnificent restoration by Napa Valley Restoration, which makes it look brand new. An engine rebuild, rebuild sorry, was undertaken by Rick Eclier of Sonoma. The petrol engine is 1.6 litres. It's got a four-speed manual transmission gearbox has got front disc rear drum hydraulic brakes. The Type 2 concept is credited to Ben Pond who imported the VW vans into Holland. His first sketches date from 1947, meaning that the van is now 70 years old. The idea of the VW camper anyway. But production had to wait until March 1950 as VW caught up with demand for the basic Beetle. Now, after World War II, the VW factory was uh, in the British occupation zone and the authorities realized that uh, vehicles were necessary and so a great deal of incentive was given to actually start producing vehicles quickly. And uh, so, in a way, uh, we can be grateful for the, to the, the British occupation authorities that we've got not only the Beetle, but the VW camper as well. So starting in 1951, VW offered an officially sanctioned camper conversion by Westphalia Werke of Franz Knobel and Son in Rader Weidenburg, Germany. Built as a van, both with and without rear side windows, it came also as a pickup or a fully equipped camper. And many other aftermarket conversions were created, such as hearses, ambulances, police vans, for the fire brigade, and many others. During the 1960s, the combi version, a window van with removable seats, became the transportation of choice for hippies all over America, Australia, and Europe, often with psychedelic paintings. Original parts, which we can see in this uh, uh, vehicle, uh, include the gilded German roof rack, factory sway bar, factory gears, curtains pop-up roof, camping equipment, laminated folding table, storage cabinets, electric hookup, factory rear mosquito net, and more. As a finishing touch, custom hardwood floors were installed to complement the living space. Finished in L87 pearl factory white paint over butterscotch leather upholstery, this camper was placed second in its class at the 2016 Einstein Concorde Elegance in Murphy's, California at its first public showing. So I would like to have taken it out for a drive and shown it like that, but I, <laughs> I can't. These uh, vehicles are quite difficult to drive. I know from people who um, have told me about them, particularly with the gears, uh, uh, it, it takes a certain skill in managing to do it and it's they're not like the modern vans which you can drive with sort of one finger. The steering is pretty tight. I've got to say though, if this were my van, I think I'd have problems taking it out. It looks so wonderful. I think I just want to keep it indoors. Maybe in the house, not in the garage, just to admire it. If you've enjoyed this film, uh, please subscribe and give me a like. Uh, that's always appreciated. If there's interest, I can show, because I've got large collections of photographs of vans, I could actually publish them as photographs, but obviously I prefer to do films uh, if I can. But if you, if you want me to, I can certainly post these things. Have a look please also at my site, uh, Motorhome Full Time, I've got more details about vans such as this. And also see my Facebook group, which is called Motorhome.
all the time. Thank you.